Which generation? Fourth. Fourth generation. 2001. Nice, and it's a Dale Earnhardt. That's nice. Tire screamer. Pardon? Is it a tire screamer? Um, it goes pretty good. Yeah. You baby it? Um, for the most part, I do. Yeah. I have gotten on it several times, but man, oh man, I mean, first gear is so low that, I mean, it just, wow, you know, it's, you got to, you stomp it down there, you got to shift right away, because oh. it's, it's up there. It's up there. Very cool. But it's fun to drive, I like it, and actually, in hindsight, I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought it because it's something I don't want to put a lot of miles on. But I love it. Okay. But I wish I had a car that I didn't want to keep the miles down on. Yeah. And this car's okay. got, I think, um, under 9,000 miles on it. Oh, so, oh wow. It's an old one. I bought it and had 5,000 miles on it. So. Okay. Oh. That is completely understandable. <laughs> 9,000 miles. That's a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I usually say that to about old Chevy trucks that have less than 100,000 miles on it. Oh, that's oh. a baby yet, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Well, that's it's interesting. Fun. And I'm surprised I didn't, I don't really, I had, this is the only GMMG car I've seen here. You know, GMMG, they made the Earnhardt editions, the Hot Rod editions, okay, the, uh, the special, and most of them are fourth gen. And, you know, they're all numbered cars. Okay. This is car number 81 of 83. Okay. So, oh. but I thought I'd see more here. Okay. And I, this is the only one that I've seen. Yeah. As far as a GMMG built car. Okay. Well, that's how rare they are. Especially in Wisconsin, you know, salt and everything. These cars yeah, go south yeah. and they stay in garages. You know what I mean? They just don't keep them up here. You know, when I, I went to a the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show, I go to that every year in Illinois, Rosemont, and I didn't re know they were going to be there. But there was there had to be seven or eight GMMG cars there, all in a row, and they were invited. Oh. You know, so it was a special thing, and two of those guys are from Wisconsin, uh, and I thought I'd see see them here, but okay. I I haven't seen. Okay, that's a special special weekend, time, yeah. So. It's a special weekend here because school school starts on Monday, and you know, for a lot of places, so. This is the last weekend for cabins and camping oh, yeah, and yeah. all that Labor I Day weekend. Spent the last week up in Dul north of Duluth, Minnesota. Okay, how was it? It was good. It all was right. Good. We, uh, my sister-in-law likes to look at waterfalls, and they got a lot of them up there. Oh really? So you hike to a waterfall, oh. and you know, there most of them are trails that lead to the waterfall. Okay. So we we hiked every day. We bicycled. And, huh. I, that's why I didn't know if I, I, I hate to pre-register for something like this, because if the weather would have been crappy, I'm not coming. Yeah, yeah. So, huh. I don't know, I checked the weather and saw that I could pay at the gate yeah. just to get in. Yeah. I said, all right, I'm going to go. Well, I'm glad you made it out. Yeah, me yeah, too. Absolutely. Me too. I am. Oh, what a beautiful weekend, huh? Oh, man. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, thank you for, for the yeah, interview. You bet. Have a good day, sir. You too. Wow. That is how rare they are. Oh, yeah. He was, well, he was good. Because that was his number one. Huh?